Move in day for one San Diego College student did not go as planned today. Good evening, I'm Jesse Pagan. And I'm Anna Laurel. Marcella and Carlo are off tonight. Jenny Robbie shared pictures of a bug infested apartment with dirty carpet and a broken refrigerator at Boulevard 63. That's an off campus complex near San Diego State. Now the mother is in tears trying to figure out where to move her daughter now. CBS 8's Abby Alford went to work to help get some answers. Outside Boulevard 63, it looks like it's this cool college apartment complex, but inside one student says is squalor. So we're finding out what's being done about it. greasy appliances. It's gross. Like it just wasn't cleaned. There's pee on the wall, stained carpet, and then there were like flies all underneath her bed and the smell. It reeks of cigarettes. This was move in day for Kaylee Herzberger at Boulevard 63 apartments in the college area on Thursday. But it wasn't just our apartment. It was chaos in our whole hall. Jenny Robbie says that she flew down from Sacramento to move in her Mesa College daughter into Boulevard 63, an off campus apartment near SDSU. And I said, no, this is not okay. She says she went straight to management and she said, you know, what can I do to make this move in experience better for you? They said, we're not moving in. You, you, uh, it's inhabitable. We cannot move in in these conditions. Yeah, I called Boulevard 63. Um, she has pictures, she has video that shows um, deplorable conditions. I emailed and went to the leasing office to help mom get answers. So the leasing office says it's open till six, but the doors are locked and I don't see anyone inside. CBS 8 did some digging and found a few small claims filed against their parent company, Teachers Insurance and Annuity Association of America. When you go on Boulevard 63's website, it says where home is paradise. Everything we touch is filthy and sticky. CBS 8 found several horrible reviews dating back several years on Boulevard 63's Facebook page. The apartment complex responded to some saying that it would look into their complaints. There's so many kids that are getting taken advantage of. Jenny also shared a copy of the lease, but it could cost them to break it. $12,648. We spoke with Tenants United, an advocacy group who says that they may have a case if the unit is in unlivable conditions. We're missing a part of our couch. We were missing beds. Kaylee's two cars are still packed to the brim. What was supposed to be a fun mother-daughter weekend has turned into a nightmare. But it was far from happy. It was really, really upsetting. And it was really upsetting for all the kids that just didn't know what to do. Tenants United says that you can also file a complaint with code enforcement. To learn more, go to CBS8.com, click on the help button. The apartment manager says they addressed Kaylee and her mom's concerns and the unit is ready to move in. A spokesperson for the company called Abby back late in the day and said they would send a statement as to why this happened. We'll keep you updated on that response. If there's an issue you'd like us to look into, remember we're working for you. Email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.